There are many towns in Wisconsin that don't have at least one place that sells gasoline after 5 p.m., but lucky me, I found one way, way up north, which was a problem as my motorcycle had about a tablespoon of gas in it, daylight was disappearing, and my campsite was 14 miles away. And that is when you find the real Wisconsinites, the strangers in the bar who found their buddy who always carries gas in his truck, and then the buddy himself who refused to let me pay him for half a tank, even though he saved my bacon. This was during my annual ride that has only two rules, no riding the same road twice, and no TV, no newspapers, no Twitter, no radio, sort of like a butcher eating salad for seven days. And that's where I met enough good people to make me think the pettiness of the political fringe might just change. And then I tuned back in just for time, just in time for the story of the guy arrested for pouring a beer on State Representative Robin Voss. In the latest update, the speaker at a political rally yesterday, who said he should have drank the beer first. Yet we all had seventh grade biology. We know where he was going. Ironically, the last take I did before setting out was again calling on both sides to admonish publicly their own loonies. One viewer reminded me our country was made great on civil disobedience and rebellion, and he's absolutely right. But let's not confuse someone who calls for urinating on a politician's head with the Greensboro Four and threatening to blow the head off someone who would do such a thing, as one anonymous blogger wrote tonight, does not make you Thaddeus Kajusko. It really is time, folks, to separate the wheat from the chaff and let the worthless contributors fall to the floor unnoticed.